Hello and welcome to the March edition of UNITAR News. I'm Clinton Andrew Thompson. This month we will follow the work of UNITAR around the world. Coming from Jamaica, UNITAR and the OECD participated in the awareness raising workshops on nanotechnology and manufactured nanomaterials for developing and transition countries. In Haiti, UNICEF's work will be used to determine how to fund the rebuilding efforts. Later in our broadcast, we will report about the Institute of Diplomatic Studies of Saudi Arabia's request for UNITAR to develop a series of courses for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Now we bring you a story about how the head of the UNITAR office in Hiroshima participated in a seminar in Afghanistan. In February, the head of the UNITAR office in Hiroshima, Japan, Mr. Alex Maheya, traveled to Kabul, Afghanistan to participate in the UNITAR seminar on 2009 Fellowship After Action Review and Lessons Learned, as well as to conduct a fact-finding mission in Kabul. The program is sensitive to the Afghanistan community's changing needs and feedback from participants. Mr. Mahaya's mission objectives include strengthening the relationship with its main partner, Afghanistan's Civil Service Commission, as well as to work with other organizations to increase reconstruction efforts. UNITAR has been involved in post-conflict reconstruction in Afghanistan by enhancing the leadership management, and professional skills of senior government officials, academics, and practitioners. In other news, on March 12th, UNITAR and the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or the OECD, participated in awareness-raising workshops on nanotechnology and manufactured nanomaterials for developing and transition countries. The workshop series, which took place between the 5th and the 13th of March in Kingston, Jamaica, was for countries in the Latin American and Caribbean region. The main objectives of the workshop were to show participants examples of how nanotechnology is applied to consumer products, medicine, and the environmental remediation field. Government and stakeholder professionals used the workshop to begin the dialogue about potential risk that nanotechnology and manufactured nanomaterials can pose to the environment and human health, as well as the challenges nanotechnology poses to policymakers in developing and transition countries. Since 2009, UNITAR and the OECD have been delivering these workshops to UN member countries in partnership with the Secretariat of the Strategic Approach to International Chemicals Management, also known as SICAM. Now we turn our attention to UNICEF, which has been providing other UN and government agencies, NGOs, and local experts in Haiti with satellite-derived photos and on-the-ground damage assessment in the aftermath of the earthquake in Haiti. UNITAR's Operational Satellite Applications Program has worked closely together with the European Commission's Joint Research Center, the World Bank, and the United Nations Development Program to assist the Haitian government by providing accurate analyses on damaged buildings. UNICEF's recommendations will be used as input to determine how to fund the ongoing efforts for rebuilding Haiti as part of the post-disaster needs assessment and recovery framework. Finally, we present a report about the Institute of Diplomatic Studies in Saudi Arabia, which has requested the services of UNITAR for the fifth consecutive year to develop a series of courses for the officers of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. UNITAR brought together several international organizations to present and discuss strategies applied by crisis managers and policy makers. The fields included humanitarian affairs, health, environment, and economic and cyber crises. Some other topics that were discussed included human security and skills building in mediation, negotiation, and diplomacy. The participants were interviewed about the impact of these courses. I just came here like uh, two weeks ago and we take uh, intensive courses which is uh, for us is, uh, a new uh, information that we talk about uh, a lot of uh, organizations and a lot of uh, information from the export people who's retired and they have a lot to say for us and I think this uh, information will help us to to, uh, to, my, to myself and my country to represent my country in a good way in the future. Well, it's going to help me at work mostly. Uh, I'm beginning in the diplomatic field, but uh, uh, this can give me some direction 
to start my style and at uh, negotiating and uh, diplomatic ways. Participants felt that the courses would benefit their work in foreign affairs as well. Yeah, well I hope they will remember that preparation is essential in order to succeed in diplomatic life. Because for me, I believe the training. Training is more important to the person who wants to be successful in his life, you know. Well, I think all topics which have been ta tackled by this course have, are an impact on Saudi Arabia. So I think that the, the variety of themes which we uh, uh, discussed during this fortnight is uh, something which will be very useful for our Saudi Arabian diplomats. The eight-day course was held in Geneva, Switzerland from the 9th to the 18th of February. This is the end of the March edition of UNITAR News. Reporting from Geneva, Switzerland, I am Clintandra Thompson. Thank you for watching. This broadcast has been brought to you by the United Nations Institute for Training and Research and student volunteers from the University of Geneva.